Well, there's so much hype around skins that look good in Source 2, sticker investments being up and down, and repeat designs with Paris' release, certain skins have remained completely rock solid during all this chaos, and it's kind of the more boring stuff. Like for example, the Karambit Forest DD Pad. It's had a slight pullback after the massive hype, but nowhere near as much as the stuff in the spotlight that everyone was hyping up. Like everything else though, it will still have good fundamentals going into CS2. Less being unboxed because the cases that it's in are getting so expensive, more players coming to the game so more play skins are being bought, so with more solid stuff like this, you're eliminating most of the volatility that comes in times of hype like we've recently seen. Play skins are probably one of the safest bets you can make going into the future. If you want to look out for less volatile stuff or long term trends since everything on the steam market is getting so expensive, I use Cantry.dev. Cantry's website pretty much just takes buffs price aka cash value over the past year or so, so it's probably the easiest way to get a good idea on long term price trends and how hype can affect certain skins compared to others. With CS2, I think the initial hype pushing a ton of skins obviously was too much for dopplers, fades, etc. and Going forward, it's possible the more basic skins can perform just as well. But thanks to Skins Monkey for sponsoring this video, get up to a free $5 bonus on your first trade and get actual fair value for your CSGO trades with that link at the top of the description.